okay. <laughs> okay. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It is Mariah Fang. I haven't done one of these official things, so excuse me if I kind of like look off to the side a little bit. My display is down here and I have like terrible eyesight, so that's why I'm trying to like multitask at the same time and try to like keep my voice into the microphone because I don't really have like, well, hang on. So I don't necessarily have a microphone that is better quality than this, I guess, I, except for this one. This one is my my baby. I adore this. And like, this is my pride and joy. I wish I could just like mount it somehow on there, but I feel like I need to be up close in order to talk into it. I have a cloud lifter and stuff that works on it, but I just want something more portable. So if I go travel and such that I actually have a microphone. <laughs> so basically what I'm trying to get across is people want to see the tattoos that I have so far. And honestly, I feel like I've been kind of making somewhat pro- I mean, I've, I've made a lot of progress. I will say that. I did cover up a lot of credit tattoos, especially stuff that I've done in my apprenticeship on myself, <laughs> having them redone and they look a lot better. And then also covering up some old work that other people have done. <laughs> so where do we even start? Like, I guess we could start from like head to toe and then I might have pictures up here showing that. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I guess we could start with the first one. I think it's, what is it, this side? No, this side. Um, it's hard to see. I don't know if any of you have caught that, but basically it is the orbit of Venus or the uh, five petals of the orbit travel of Venus. So I really like the whole astrology kind of thing. Um, hence why that is there. On the, I keep forgetting what side it is, but it's on the right side. Um, and I just liked it, so I went for it. And of course, don't do this on yourself. <laughs> unless you're a professional, but even still have someone else do it because I think it's mostly super important. Um, please have someone else do your tattoo. That's like the professional do it. Um, I used to tattoo for a couple years. I did it anyways. I think it needs to get redone again and maybe like cleaned up just a teensy little bit. Um, only because I think it is uh, <laughs> not as vibrant and that's because it's on my face. I use a lot of lightening skin products so it does kind of lighten up over time and the ink that I used was not <laughs> heavily pigmented, like Panther Triple X. Love that. Um, but yeah, I just decided, you know what, I'm going to just use a little dynamic, wash it down, and that's what you get. So I started with that on my face. Am I going to get more face tattoos? Probably like hidden ones, so you can't really see it. Up here, I'm not too certain on because I kind of like my forehead. <laughs> I really do. I like my forehead, don't get me wrong. Um, why are you covering with bangs? I don't know. In a way, I guess that is kind of my only face tattoo, minus the ears going across. Eventually, I want to get those touched up and just kind of like straightened out more and maybe more of a better design. Um, but that's the thing with tattoos. You can always add on. You can always remove them with a laser and stuff, but I'm just going to get it more added on. Just make it look cool. We have, going down, we have the throat tattoo. Some of the stuff I did do underneath my chin. Um, that was kind of hard to do because I had a mirror underneath me and I also like looked into another mirror so I kind of just like followed that. I don't recommend doing this. I really don't. Um, monkey see monkey do. Don't do what I do. So <laughs> don't do what I say or don't do what I do basically. Um, that's just my motto. Uh, because then I can take accountability for myself and vice versa. But, um... I did some of the stuff as well on the s I also did some of the stuff on the sides of the wolf tattoo. When you get down to like here though, <laughs> this was done by another artist and this was done by another artist as well for filling in. Um, I did do my chest piece tattoo. My chest piece <laughs> did not look like this originally. It had three steps. I came up with the layout. I came up with the design. And I saw it in a mirror and I basically placed the stencil on, so I said it looked good. <laughs> and then um, some of this needs to get touched up, is it? Yeah, that side needs to get touched up a little bit. Um, but the final result of the chest tattoo has been cleaned up by another artist, has been cleaned up, um, and has also been filled in, you can see it, on this side. All the way into my blackout <laughs> and then all the way. Over here, we'll see what happens into there. 
but that's kind of like what leads into the blackout tattoo which i will show in just a minute here after i say a few things first the wolf tattoo pain level sucked <laughs> wasn't too bad it sucked though but it wasn't too bad but it sucked though <laughs> i'm like i still have to like get some stuff retouched but i don't know if i'll ever go out west to get that done soon only because of funds you want to find me go here but <laughs> um besides that i've been just admiring like how far i've come i really love this piece i don't care if it has imperfections i just love it i made it so boom also if you don't believe me i came up with the design i have the original right here along with the bloop 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 blueprints see how it's not exactly alike yeah it's gonna probably blend together in the future at some point um i do like the original pattern so i may get some of that on my hand somewhere but kind of being a tattoo snob and not going to show the world anything about it um until it's finally done so <laughs> you won't get to see the up close design <laughs> until it's done because it does not look exactly like this so yeah it's something close but it's fairly similar <laughs> i will say though tattooing yourself in the mirror is a lot different but i will just admit that it does take time it takes patience and pain level owie big owie so anyways let's move forward I thought would look great and then my artist did not listen to me whatsoever and slap dab and is like oh that's what you wanted right i'm like not even close bud not even close <laughs> so i decided to have someone black it out but originally i had blacked myself out first um did a blackout on myself to cover it and then had another artist do blackout so i may have to get another session done you can see where like the aftermath of some stuff is showing only because i need to get somebody to outline it um but yeah that's why a lot of this is covered and my knuckle needs to get redone because it's one of those areas like when you tattoo um it tends to fall out especially on joints and like there's nothing here so <laughs> that's nice but um yeah that's why i gotta get all this done my hands need to be it looks so like veiny right now but it's okay it's because working out earlier but yeah i need to get this probably all reblacked out again and then do white out over the top because i have a design in mind which i mentioned earlier wink wink so there's that So that was enough of that. Um, but that was basically just my arm tattoo. I wanted to show you that and why did I cover it? Because I just felt like it, I needed to. I needed to get it out of the way and make it look a lot nicer. So that was the update for this last year. I'm kind of quiet about. <laughs> you might have seen it in some of my photos, but I've been really quiet about new tattoo pieces only because I just want to be careful about plans and saying something and then not having it fall through but everything has been falling through because i just say it later or the video is uploading so that basically was my arm tattoo and what i've done to it and why i've done it only because i just want it to be covered and not have any uh remembrance of old tattoos on there also fun story about this hand um i had a design as well made up and it was a cat and he gave the cat human eyes instead of cat eyes <laughs> that I asked for. So it's all covered up. Will I ever, ever have a cat tattoo on the sand? Maybe. I might do a whiteout cat tattoo. We'll see because cats are cool. That's the tattoo we don't talk about. <laughs> um, so yeah, we don't talk about that tattoo because everybody will. Uh, that was my first ever tattoo given to me by somebody. <laughs> 18th birthday. Yay. Um, but it's funny because, like, I get a kick out of it till this day that people are like, Oh my god, Assassin's Creed! I'm like, Haha, Assassin! Yeah. <laughs> Please don't. Um, but yeah, at the same time, I am getting it lasered off a little bit. It's on its third, fourth session, but I plan on going a little bit more eventually. Maybe. I don't know. I really don't want to have it lasered again, only because it's just annoying 
and it's kind of expensive to get it done each time, so I just kind of want to get it covered up with more blackout. It's kind of a big piece. If not blackout, I might do some kind of design on my back of some sort that I really like, but for now, it's kind of like up in the air <laughs> as to what will happen there. So right now, just kind of leaving it open. If an artist wants to use my back for a tattoo convention idea and tattoo something, be my guest. But let me see the design first because I want to make sure you're good. <laughs> for my stomach tattoo, I had it uh, a design kind of like influenced from the lead singer Mitch Luker uh, of Suicide Silence. He was always an inspiration, always liked his music, and always liked how his tattoos looked. <laughs> uh, but I wanted something unique of my own. I wanted an owl tattoo. I'm like, yeah, the wings would be cool too, but I'm like, no, let's not do that because I don't condone tattoo capping. I'd like to have it, you know, as unique as possible. Um, but yeah, I got it done in that because, well, I also wanted my stomach just covered and I want like as many tattoos as I can on me. So that's the goal. <laughs> get tattooed. Just keep getting tattooed over and over and over, basically. <laughs> so the tattoo that I got on my right side, um, or right leg we'll talk about, there's like a lot of space on there. So I'm not really going to be showing you my entire leg. I'm just going to show you like three pieces. The first piece was done by an artist that taught me how to do realism and she's really good at it but I feel like I want it covered up only because of the memories tied to it. I just don't want to be like, oh, that was like a depressing time or like, you know, because I used to work there and stuff. But point blank, she did a really good job, but I may get that covered up eventually. We'll see. Or I may just leave it. Just leave it for the sake of like, you know, it was a good tattoo. But I also don't want a cabbage rose patch on me. <laughs> Next tattoo is the swan. Um, I love swans. I think they're adorable. I think they're cute. I am probably going to change it up a little bit in the future. Um, I kind of want someone to kind of deepen up the details a bit more and then just fix up the feathers a little bit more as well. Um, I did the design on myself on my leg and I thought it was like a great way to learn realism. Um, I don't hate it, I actually do love it, but I think that it could be a little bit better just because of time has gotten to it and all realism pieces are going to blend together eventually when it's like really tiny if the artist didn't know what they were doing, which kind of was my fault, but no big deal. It still looks great on me. I don't care. It'll be fine. If it turns into a blob in the future, that's okay. It does not matter. All right, so the next one, my calf, uh, was done by another artist that was out of state, I think in New Jersey. They're really good. Um, they just needed somebody to tattoo for the day. So they're like, you, tattoo? I'm like, yes, absolutely. So we just started that and uh, that was actually one of my first realism pieces on my body uh, before I got into the whole tattooing industry and I was like, you know what, I think it'd be kind of cool to learn how to tattoo. And that's how things kind of escalated. <laughs> now we're on to my favorite piece ever on my body. Um, Castlevania. Castlevania castle tattoo. It is still in the healing process, so don't judge it. And it's in an area that has a lot of flabby skin. <laughs> By flabby skin, I mean good grip tape skin if you're a pole dancer so that's where <laughs> a lot of yeah um that's where some skin is gonna be sliding a lot so it's one of those spots to get tattooed that is not very friendly and i still have a ton more space that needs to get tattooed and covered and i'm nervous about that <laughs> i'm a little bit nervous only because it's a sensitive area um but it's also next to my other favorite tattoo, the jellyfish and the bat. The jellyfish tattoo, I believe, is a man of war jellyfish or something like that. I don't know. I could be wrong. It's just a jellyfish. Deadly jellyfish. Um, I love jellyfish because they are... They look like they're simple creatures, but they also pack a punch. <laughs> which a lot of people kind of compare my intimidation why am i intimidating i'm not intimidating i'm actually like very soft and squishy inside but everybody like thinks i have this hard shell that's like oh my god you're so intimidating i thought you'd hate me i'm like i don't why does everybody think that <laughs> like i'm literally a freaking squish smell leave me alone <laughs> i mean that's it i don't know but yeah i love jellyfish and they just are majestic looking creatures and <laughs> what's interesting is i saw the picture on a wall that my artist took He's like, yeah, I went to a museum 
uh, or aquarium that had jellyfish and I wanted to take pictures and I was like, give me that tattoo, please. And so here we are with the jellyfish tattoo. That's more jellyfish. <laughs> so yeah, that's where we're at right now. Um, and that's how I got the jellyfish tattoo. On top, you'll see the almost complete owl tattoo. Um, I stenciled out the design and it is indeed a cover up. Someone did go over the lines to make sure the lines were straight and make sure that some of the details were a little bit covered and same with my knee. The disaster that is below that, <laughs> it's not a disaster, it's actually quite beautiful, but underneath all that blackout, there was some dot work, which I may put up here, if not. Sorry, I don't want to show you that. It's kind of embarrassing. Um, I learned how to stick and poke, like using literally a chopstick needle wrapped around with electric tape and just, it's like you're sewing. You're basically just going in, back out, in, back out, in, back out, in, back out. It's kind of like little half heart shapes over and over and over, just really tiny half heart shapes um, going in at that angle. So that's why I covered it up because it was a practice. And now it looks amazing. And I'm probably going to get the eagle covered up, maybe. Who knows? And do some white out on top of the black. Um, but yeah. As for the owl, am I going to get that complete eventually? Am I going to get it blacked out even more or even like shaded? Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Then the knee is still not done yet. We still need to add color where there's empty spots, but it's mostly um, shaded blackout for now. And then the eagle, I think I already said, needs to be blacked out possibly, something like that. We're still trying to figure out some stuff that we want to do on the side of my leg as it's like, <laughs> it's going to be almost complete. I'm kind of sad that it's almost done, but yeah. Then below that is the, and pretty much most of my designs, pretty much most of my designs on my feet were tattoos that I was like, yeah, I'm going to go practice on myself and like just tattoo some of that. I will say like an artist did do the blueberries. Um, I'm going to keep the blueberries. They look really cool. And I love blueberries because blueberries are freaking delicious. I don't have to have a meaning to everything, but it's just kind of like what I insinuated to. Because it was in that time where like people were getting bird tattoos with like fruit and stuff or like fruit tattoos with like bats and Whatever, which reminds me, I forgot to talk about the bat. Um, my bat tattoo <laughs> is, ironically, I saw a picture on Pinterest and I was like, can you make something unique but different from this? So, it turned out pretty cool. We needed like a filler spot, so it worked out. Got a nice cute little bat because I love bats, they're adorable. And how they find food. Um, the other piece I do have is a brand cover up. And that one is a peony on my hip and I kind of want to go for more Japanese traditional style on my back at some point but we'll see I don't know we'll find out still have a long ways to go I kind of want to take my time with like adding pieces to my body because I feel like last year I did once a month I got tattooed and I think I want to kind of like slow down just a little bit maybe once every couple months um so that way I can focus on other things before I go jump back into it again <laughs> so there's that um but yeah the scar brand that i had was basically it was like a little anarchy symbol and i was like you know what i'm gonna get that covered up because i'm not a little punk kid anymore <laughs> i i do have like my views about political stuff but i'm not going to get into that because i don't really care about talking about that stuff um i do have my views but i just didn't want to like be like oh my god she's a punk kid so i just got it covered up i'm still a punk kid at heart i still color my hair and still have the once in a while you know, do the whole britney spears thing but um you leave britney alone you leave her alone for sure but the thing is is like i still have that child at heart inside me so i was just like i'll find another tattoo that i think that i can relate to that is more fun punky and kind of cute so we'll do that <laughs> um but yeah, that's basically all of my tattoos. And if you're curious about my tattoo journey, you can always go onto Instagram as well and see my progress. Other than that, um, I hope you all have a great day and thank you for anyone the anyone 
uh, suggesting other videos, please let me know. I'll be sure to make them. Sorry, this one took a little bit. Very sorry about that. I'm trying my hardest <laughs> right now. Um, but yeah, I hope you'll have a great day. Thank you for checking it out. See you guys next time. Bye.